ever since I bought my first batch of chickens back in 2020, we've had some really interesting batches of chickens together. Some combinations that you would expect and some that you wouldn't really expect. Today's video is just gonna be a little bit of a fun video where I just talk about my chickens. So sit back, relax, enjoy. And also, PSA, we, if we reach 4K before August, as I keep saying, we're gonna do a live every day that month. So we'll see what happens. First of all, it's quite odd to have chickens that like, are like really crazy trying to go broody like my chicken loudmouth and i'm pretty sure my chicken cute is in the coop right now trying to go broody like always and then we just have normal chickens over here that just try to live their life and then we have the biggest idiot right over here falcon my rooster and if you've not seen one of my videos before you know how much crap i like talking about my rooster and if i like try to bring up a bad point about roosters if i'm making a video about roosters i'll oftentimes bring him up because he's literally a key example of a rooster that like has to like be terrible for whatever reason like he leads the chickens in all the wrong directions and worse yet he doesn't even really defend them he only defends one chicken in particular and that chicken is Kit Kat which saying that he defends Kit Kat is a stretch to say the very least and to be honest with you yeah he hasn't really done his job that well at all in the entirety of his lifespan as a rooster in fact we first got him back in 2021, and when we added him to the pet flock, we added him because we felt bad he was getting attacked. Chicka Chick is not even an original chicken in this flock. You have no business attacking an actual original chicken loudmouth. Who is four years old? Chicka Chicka? Really? You guys are actually stupid, bro. This chicken flock is like the craziest chicken flock ever. Except the farm flock's even crazier. And also, more proof my rooster doesn't do his job. He typically wants to keep the, most roosters want to keep their chickens confined to a yard to keep them safe. My rooster doesn't even care. However, the chickens are also kind of like at fault too because they want to escape. And I mean, hey, they can do what they want to do, but when they leave seven inch deep holes in your yard, yeah, to, the, to an unsuspecting person, if you step in that accidentally, that could be a really serious injury. If you're older and you step in a seven inch deep hole that your chickens dug in your backyard, that could be a one-way trip to the ER that could potentially be life-altering. So if I were to say one thing, chickens dig holes everywhere for literally no reason. Sometimes it's because they're finding bugs, other times it's because they're dust fading. But finding, well, if you're in the chicken yard, you wanna make sure that like, you know where all the holes are in general because the chickens dig them a lot. So it's quite interesting. It's also really crazy to know all the different chicken breeds that reside under this one house right here these chickens are probably more diverse than our farm flock which has let's see at least 3x the amount of chickens we have in this flock a little bit under 3x because that would be pretty sure 39 and the not just flock is 34 but back to the point of course this chicken flock is pretty diverse we have easter eggers olive eggers black copper marins green queens and we just have some random chicken breeds in here too like a wyan dot some buff warpingtons of course barred rocks and all that fun stuff we have an ISA Brown, and my goal is to expand the pet flock over the course of the next couple of key, over the course of the next couple of years, is to expand the flock to an even more diverse area. The pet flock is kind of like the testing group, and the farm flock's the actual like group where we take the action from. So think of it like an experiment. The pet flock is like the experimental group to see what happens. Eventually, they just kind of become a, a secondary chicken flock, and the farm flock, which is down there, which I'll get into in just a minute, are just the chickens that like are like the real deal. That's why there's two to three times the amount of chickens in that flock than there is in this flock. Let's get down to the farm flock. Now we move on to, as I was saying, the actual group of chickens that I really like focusing on a lot recently. As you probably noticed, I actually film a lot of my videos. I even posted a short earlier today where I fed some waffles that, as you probably know, I screwed up. I fed them to the farm flock because they were there. They're pretty cool. And see, we have tons of different chickens in here, except there's a few less chickens in here like we have just a couple like this is one of our black copper marins she's cool she says what's up to the camera she's telling you to subscribe or whatever a chicken wants you to do i don't know the rest of these chickens though are really friendly and as you can see there's no rooster here because if they duck down like that that means they don't have a rooster if, if it's because like because they expect you to be the rooster kind of so these chickens are crazy friendly because they want some respect and of course I give them the respect they want because they deserve some respect. They're chickens. They live a hard life of walking outside of the chicken coop at 6.30 in the morning and eating bugs the whole day. Still don't have to pay taxes, so chickens can do what they want to do. I don't know. And of course, 
One interesting thing about chickens, however, with this flock, is that, well, yeah, they're chickens. It's crazy. I have no clue why I started that. I literally lost my train of thought as soon as I was about to say that. Well, yeah, so these chickens are far more friendly, but they're far less diverse than the pet flock. Like, the pet flock has all these different breeds of chickens, and I personally would give the edge to the pet flock being a little bit more stupid than the farm flock, but now I'd say the farm flock is kind of up there too. All down by the road. What are you guys thinking you're doing, bro? There's a car coming right now. Chickens are not of the smartest. And you want to know something? All these chickens I've ever owned, I've owned 11 different breeds of chickens, and I had to review them. So of course I had to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I, so I threw up a couple of reviews, and I have a video just for you right there. Well, want to see the reviews I gave my chickens? It's right there. I'll see you there.